なってるかもしれませんけれども考えていること感じていることは自分の中の正義感をで行動をしているっていうことはをやっぱり気をつけて演じてました、まあ、バランスというよりもそれを一貫してたっていうことの方があの正しいんですけれどもそれを他の人たちがどう判断しするかどう感じるかは人によっていろいろ違うからあああのうまくバランス取れてたっていうことですねやっぱりねそういう意味では一貫してたっていうか。Um, in terms of this, actually may have had a bad influence or a bad effect on people who saw me in this role.、Uh, but I think, in terms of、um, how he was behaving, the character was behaving, it was his own internal sense of justice in terms of、uh, what was right. He was basing his actions on those feelings or perceptions.、Uh, so, in, this, in creating this role, I was very careful to、uh, maintain a consistent、uh, balance in terms of that.、Um, again, you mentioned that there's no judgment、uh, in regard to him from other people.、Um, they might think or feel differently, but I think the reason that I was able to keep this balance. So that I, was,、um, I really valued that consistency in terms of creating the character. And、uh, maybe this is a question for、um, all three of you,、uh, especially with、uh, Kitaki san and、uh, Sawada san.、Uh, this is a film that kind of gestures towards the divide between urban space and rural space. I wonder how you approach this in、uh, producing the film and uh, just, uh, showing the film around Japan. In、uh, how you've had a response from audiences in cities and in rural spaces, and how that fits your approach for、uh, the audience of this film. I know. 本作はえっと昨年の9月の中旬に日本でえっと最初に公開したんですけれども。えー今やっぱり日本映画界を取り巻く現状は、えー、もう二極化がもうどんどんどんどん加速化していて、えー、いわゆる我々のこの本作は、えー、とインディペンデント映画で、まあ、あのどっちかというと、まあ、小規模の映画の部類に入るんですけれども、えー、なかなかあの地方での上映というのは、まあ、やっぱこのサイズでは難しいという現状がありまして私はこの,この作品を、えー、とプロデュースとあと配給もしてるんですけど。まあ、そういう現状が知ってたということもありまして、えー、まずは東京で確実にどうやってお客さんを入れるかということにもう、えー、と注,力注意を注ぎましたで東京で入らないイコールもう中央でも上映ができなくほとんど上映の声がかからなくなってしまうので、えー、とにかく東京でどれだけ入るかということを常にまあ考えていますで結果、えーまあ、残念なことで工業的にはそんなにあの振るいませんでしたが、えー、とやはり見ていてくれてくれた大丈夫ですか、はい、見てくれたお客さんにはやっぱりあのいい反応がありました、まあ、賛否両論ありましたがあのいい反応があってもっと地方で上映してくださいという声も出すあったのも事実です。はい So, this film was first released、uh, in Japan in、uh, the middle of September last year.、Um, and at that time, within the Japanese movie industry, and currently, there's a large polarization. It's actually quite divided.、Uh, in terms of our film, it would be characterized as an independent film and relatively small scale.、Uh, so, for a film like that, it's actually pretty hard to get it、um, shown in these rural areas. So, for me,、um, who was involved with both production and as a producer and distribution, this was something I was aware of. So, my primary focus was to see how it would do in Tokyo first. And to go from there.、Um, so that was my focus. And we thought that if people didn't come to see the film in Tokyo, it might be difficult to、uh, expand it out to smaller areas.、Uh, so the focus was on Tokyo and seeing how many, customer, how many people we could get to come there. Unfortunately, it wasn't that large of a commercial success. But in terms of the people who came out to see the movie,、um, many people had a very, very positive response. Of course, there were some mixed reviews, but for the most part, it was quite positive. And many people also said to us that we hope you can actually bring this to more、uh, rural parts of Japan as well. We heard those voices. Uh, well, growing up in a small town, I can relate to the,、uh, the themes and the story、uh, myself. I'm also curious about、uh, the location in、uh, Gunma Prefecture. I wonder if you could talk about the decision、uh, to shoot the film there,、uh, in addition to just the experience of、uh, shooting the film in, in Gunma Prefecture. あのこの脚本はですね、えー、撮影する前のちょうど1年前ぐらいに、え
、まあ、あの日本では有名なインディペンデントの脚本賞なんですけど、えー、それに、えー、でグランプリを取ってですねあの群馬県の大きなバックアップをもらえることがあの決まったんですねそれで群馬県で撮影しました。Um, in terms of this、uh, screenplay, this is about、uh, a year or so before、uh, filming. There was actually a screenwriter、uh, award within the、uh, Japanese independent film industry, and we received the Grand Prix.、Uh, oh, sorry, and a result of that, we knew that we were receiving a support from Guma Prefecture. 当初は地方の人の反感を受けるんじゃないかと思って、そのまあ、ビクビクしてたんですけど。群馬の人はかなりあの全面的に協力してくれて、それは驚きでした。Uh, time, we we uh, we uh, well. were veryそうですね。Uh, as well as this kind of moody、uh, soundtrack, but I'm particularly interested in if you、uh, shot in black and white or if this was a post production、uh, process since you're using、uh, digital cinematography and then the decision to、uh, use black and white so prominently. ブロックロにしたかった理由は赤とか緑とかの感情色が僕にとって非常に邪魔だったっていうことと、あとは不動産の価値っていうのはあの背景の土地の色とかあの植わってる木とかビルディングで判別できてしまうのでそこをあのな
、えー、豊かさも享受しましたけれどもあのその反面、えー、健康とかそういうものをこ経済の発展のために僕たちの体が提供したわけですですから一概にでも発展はあったからうんその悪い面もいい面もこう受け止めながら育ってきてそれはまあ3回ぐらいこうそういう経済の崩壊とか3回ぐらい経験してますのでうん人間と同じことをやっぱり繰り返すんだなっていう意味でそういうことを考えながら感じてましたねやっぱり。Uh, so earlier, the director referred to the economic crisis,、um, and I, this is something that、uh, also relates to me. Actually, before this economic crisis, we have had times in Japan where there have been different、um, blows that have taken place to the economy. If we go back to the post war period, let's say the 1960s and the 1970s, this is actually a period of great economic growth for Japan when the country was being rebuilt、uh, after the war.、Um, as a child, I had a chance to experience these、um, mountains and valleys, periods where the economy would、um, grow and then would um, shrink. Um, so I've Experienced times when things were flush and we were very,、um, we had good health and we were blessed with things. But for the, this economic development, people have had to make sacrifices, physical sacrifices and otherwise.、Um, so, this is something that、um, I've come to see and experience in my own life that for the sake of economic development, there's both good and bad sides to that.、Um, I've known this since I was a child.、Uh, about three, there were three different economic periods that I can say I went through since I was young.、Um, so, basically, I was thinking that for people, we are going through this over and over. This is a cycle that repeats itself. And That was something that I uh, was, um, it was reminiscent of that、uh, for this character. Okay, great.、Uh, so we have two microphones on either side of the auditorium. If you have a question, could you raise your hand high? See, right, one back here. Thank you for visiting with us. I'm never first, so this is really exciting for me. Uh, I don't remember if you referred to, was it foreigners or outsiders who were purchasing the land? And I'm just curious who were those people that were purchasing specifically? And then what's, what's happened, the status of those people who moved into those properties? Because it's been, what, maybe 10 years now? これは非常に難しいあのことなんですけど具体的に言うと一番初めに北海道と新潟があの、まあ、アジア系中国とかもあとはオーストラリアの人もいるっていうことを僕聞いてたんですがそういう人たちに買われるっていう状況があって国内で初めての問題になりました小学校が丸ごと買われたりしたんですねで、えー、その後なんですけどあのーまあ、中国もあったんですが結局台湾とかあのやっぱり経済発展があのその後続いて起きた国がやっぱり買うっていう状況があって今現在はどこの国がっていうのは言えない状況でインドネシアもいたりとかインドもあったりとかそういう感じでいろいろあります。で日本は今までこういうことをしばらく経験したことがなかったので。国内で恐ろしい動揺がありました。Uh, this is actually a very difficult、uh, question to answer, but、uh, to give you a response in concrete terms, initially it was in the northern parts of Japan, in Hokkaido and Niigata,、uh, where we had these、uh, foreigners coming in,、uh, primarily、um, different Asian countries,、uh, Chinese,、uh, people like that, but also Australians.、Um, and this was becoming a bit of a domestic issue at the time.、Um, I mentioned Chinese. After that, there were some Taiwanese who also came to purchase property, but it was countries basically where they had sustained economic development and then they came to、uh, use. The money they came to acquire in Japan.、Um, in terms of what the situation is like in Japan now, I think there's other nations who've gotten into the mix,、uh, whether it's Indonesia,、um, India, other people who've been purchasing land. But up until that point, Japan had never experienced、um, anything like that, or for, it had been a while since they'd experienced anything like that. So it actually、um, it shook things domestically、uh, quite dramatically. ししたそれがまあ物語の要素に入っています。ただ今また今現在がどうなっているのはよくわからないです。
so that might be part of the background of, of that purchasing spree, but I'm actually not aware of what the current status would be. But I think that's one of the central dramas of the film, right? <laughs> that uh, Takagawa-san's uh, character, Ueda, is more open uh, and doesn't have the same kind of provincial attitudes uh, and possibly you know, racist attitudes towards uh, foreigners or outsiders. Uh, but he's also taking advantage of the low land value. And I think this, the film kind of occupies this moral ambiguity in an interesting way. あの、I mean, this is something we can say about uh, the status of how things are in the world. Uh, if there's something, an item that has value, you're going to have someone who's the predator and someone who's the prey. There's always a, dynam a dynamic that's involved there. Uh, but like you said earlier, um, Joel, we have Ueda, and it's hard to say uh, whether what his role is. He can be looked at as a, a Cupid or an angel, but he's sort of an equalizer of things. He's making things uh, level. And I think the film... Uh offers a great kind of, uh, conversation starting point to, to address a lot of these important issues. So I'm curious what other people <laughs> what other people think. We have a hand raised high over on this side. I'll repeat myself in English in a minute. あの、一番最初にきっとちゃんと聞き取れなかったなと思うんですけれども、なんかえっと、日本人の方たちはみんな首になったけども、外国人の方たちは首にならなかったっていうような、あの、お話があったと思うんですね。そこのところが、私はよ
uh, because of uh, uh, somewhat of a, there was a sort of tragedy there uh, that was going on. Um, but uh, one of the things that uh, really impressed me too was the fact that in terms of how it seemed if this was dealing with a period uh, based on what was said by the translator about uh, the uh, sort of economic crisis when it's downfall, it seemed very current today even of what's going on right now in Japan uh, with uh, the recent uh, floods that have happened and taken place uh, and also the uh, Fukushima, Fukushima incident with all the devastation. Uh, but my point is, is that the story deals with so much of, of how people are going through uh, a sort of uh, constant re rebirth or re trying to find a new way of succeeding or going through uh, some type of horrible transition that takes place, that has been taking place in Japan. And uh, I wanted to just basically say that uh, I was really very touched by the storyline and what what the film is saying. Thank you. あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あ